They were young as we are young. They served giving le monument dédié aux anciens combattants de l'Ontario qui se trouve derrière moi. Behind me is the Ontario Veteran Memorial built in 2006. This powerful structure is a lasting tribute to our veteran. It serves a continual reminder of the sacrifice made by those who have served and continue to serve a country during time of war, conflict and peace. Le monument aux anciens combattants de l'Ontario, un mur de granit de 30 mètres de long où sont gravées des scènes de l'histoire militaire canadienne, est dédié à chaque homme et femme qui a eu le courage de servir à la défense de notre liberté en temps de guerre, de conflit et de paix. For millions of Ontarians, this monument is a reminder of heroism, bravery and sacrifice of our veterans and the protection of the freedom we have today. We gather together on November 11th to remember and thank the million of Canadians who traveled far from home to serve our country in time of peace and war. They serve in the First and Second World War, the Korean War, and other international conflict. On this day in 2020, the Ontario Veterans Memorial was expanded to include a tribute to the heroes of the war in Afghanistan. And this year marks the 20th anniversary of 9-11, the attack that precipitated that war. Nous nous rassemblons aujourd'hui en ce 11 novembre pour rendre hommage et surtout pour dire merci à nos anciens combattants et pour se souvenir de leur courage et de leur dévouement exemplaire lors de guerres, de conflits internationaux et de missions de paix. By remembering their service and their sacrifice on Remembrance Day, we recognize the significant dif difference these men and women have made to our democracy, our freedom, and our future. Nous voulons nous souvenir du service rendu par ces femmes et ces hommes qui, par leur sacrifice, ont contribué à notre démocratie, notre liberté, et notre avenir. The platform party will momentarily make their way towards the memorial. Les dign dignitaires se dirigeront bientôt vers le monument. But first, the premier will greet members of the honor guard ma made up of troops from four Canadian division of the Canadian Armed Forces.
Ladies and gentlemen, please stand if you are able to for the arrival of the platform party and remain standing for the playing of O Canada. The Honourable Doug Ford, Premier of Ontario, Premier Ministre de l'Ontario, is accompanied by the Honourable Ted Arnott, Speaker of the Legislative Assembly of Ontario, President de l'Assemblée Législative, the Honourable Lisa McLeod, Mini Minister of Heritage, Sport, Culture and Tourist Industry, Ministre de l'Industrie, du Patrimoine, du Sport, du Ter Tourisme et de la Culture, the Honourable Christia Freeland, Deputy Prime Minister, and Minister of Finance of Canada, Premier, Vice Premier Ministre et la Ministre des Finances du Canada, the Honorable Carolyn Bennett, Federal Minister of Health, Me Mental Health and Addiction and Associate Minister of Health, Ministre de la Santé Mentale et des Dépendances et Ministre Associé de la Santé, Brigadier General Peter Scott, Commander for Canadian Division, Commandant de la 4e Division du Canada, Ontario, Regional Chief Glenn Hare, Chiefs of Ontario, Ms. Susan Crystal, Consul General of United States of Toronto at Toronto, La Consul General des États-Unis at Toronto, Mrs. Maureen Basniki, founder of the Canadian National Day of Service Foundation and co-founder of the Canadian Coalition Against Terror, Mass Corporal Retired Caporal Chef Jody Metic, veteran of the war in Afghanistan, ancienne combattante de la guerre en Afghanistan. Ms. Michelle Dumanuel, Secretary of the Cabinet and Head of the Ontario Public Service, Secretary du Conseil des Ministres de l'Ontario, Chef de la Fonction Publique, and representing veterans of all war, Master Warrant Officer, retired, Adjudant Maître Gary Pond, President de la Légion Royale Canadienne de l'Ontario, President of the Royal Canadian Legion, Ontario Command.
At two minutes to the hour, the act of remembrance will commence. At 10h58, l'acte du souvenir commencera. At precisely 11 o'clock, the first round of the 21 gun salute will fire by the 7th Toronto Regiment, Royal Canadian Artillery, followed by two minutes of silence. À 11h précise, le premier coup de, de la salve de 21 coups de canon aura lieu, suivi de deux minutes de silence. The silence will be broken by the, bag, the bagpiper lament and the sound of the bugler playing reveille. This symbolizes the awakening of fallen soldier in a better world and rouse the living to do their duty after paying respect to the dead. Le silence sera rompu par le son du clairon jouant le réveil, qui symbolise le réveil des soldats tombés au combat dans un monde meilleur et qui incite les vivants à faire leur devoir après avoir rendu hommage aux morts. And now, if you are able to, please stand for the act of remembrance. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Ils ne connaîtront jamais l'outrage ni le poids des années. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them.
For those who can, please be seated. Pour ceux et celles qui le peuvent, veuillez vous asseoir. Ladies and gentlemen, Mesdames et Messieurs, je vous présente l'honorable Doug Ford, Premier ministre de l'Ontario. I invite the Honorable Doug Ford, Premier of Ontario, to bring greetings. Well, good morning. I want to thank everyone for joining us today. And thank you all for joining us here at Canada's Brave Service Men and Women veterans and fallen heroes. Before I begin, let me take a moment to thank those here today to pay their respects. Thank you to Brigadier General Scott of the Canadian Armed Forces, the Honorable Christia Freeland, the Honorable Carolyn Bennett, Ontario Regional Chief Hare, Minister McLeod, Speaker Arnett, U.S. Consul General Susan Crystal, Secretary D. Emanuel, Legion President Gary Pond, who is here representing Ontario's veterans, Marine Buzniski, and Master Corporal Medic, who is here on behalf of the veterans of Afghanistan. This year marks the 20th anniversary of the attacks on September 11th and the start of Canada's mission in Afghanistan. 3,000 innocent victims, including 24 Canadians, lost their lives that day. Remembrance Day is a time all Ontarians pay tribute and honour the memory of those who have sacrificed for us and show our gratitude to those heroes who still walk among us. As we stand here before the Veterans Memorial and the memorial to the Canadian heroes of the war in Afghanistan, let us acknowledge the courage and sacrifice of those who fought to protect Canada and our allies. From World War I and II to Korea to the Gulf War to Afghanistan and countless peacekeeping missions around the world. Our brave Canadian service members have always been on the front lines defending freedom and liberty for all. Let us pause this week and show our respect to those who have fought for our democracy and defended our rights. Our government will always stand shoulder to shoulder with our veterans, our active service men and women, and our military families. We will honour them. We will remember them. I encourage all Ontarians to pay their respects this Remembrance Week to our veterans, active service men and women, and fallen heroes. It is a small way to show our gratitude to those who have defeated tyranny around the world and kept us safe at home. Thank you again to all of those who have put their lives on the line to defend the country we love so dearly. God bless our veterans and God bless the people of Ontario. Merci. Thank you, sir. Maintenant, j'invite l'honorable Lisa McLeod, ministre de l'Industrie du patrimoine, du sport, du tourisme et de la culture, à venir prononcer son allocution. I invite the honorable Lisa McLeod, minister of Heritage, Sport, Tourist and Culture Industry, to the podium. Minister. Uh, thank you very much, and thank you, Premier, for your touching words. You know, this last year, a much smaller crowd here as we unveiled the memorial to the Afghanistan war. And it's wonderful to be here as well today with a dear friend of mine, Jody Middick, who served valiantly and bravely in Afghanistan, and we're very proud of you. You know, my job in the Ontario Legislature is to remind Ontarians of our strong heritage and our history. And uh, we were able to do that this past week in the Legislative Assembly, where we got to talk about the incredible contributions by so many men and women who fought for us in theatres of war, worlds away, and sometimes right here. We'd also be remiss not to thank those in today's military who served in our long-term care facilities across Ontario. I'll just say a few names of people that we should be thinking about today, and I'm sure each one of us here has somebody that we want to think about. I think of my grandfather who uh, served in World War II and didn't tell us anything about his time in Europe until we found out 
that he decided he wanted to also enlist uh, against Imperial Japan and he uh, actually took out his medals just before he died and we didn't know that he had them. But there's also other names right here in Ontario. We think of Nicola Goddard, the first woman to die in active duty in Afghanistan. She was ambushed by the Taliban at 26 years old. She was a graduate of our MC. We think of Charlie Fox, who served and took out Field Marshal Rummel uh, during the, the Second World War. When he arrived home, a mother grieving the loss of her son asked, why not you, why him? He spent the rest of his life until he died in his 80s, telling the stories of the veterans that he served alongside. It was Ernest Cote, who died at 101, and just before he died, suffered through a brutal home invasion in our nation's capital. Ernest Cote, just as he had done when he led a logistics in Normandy, fought back, and he survived that home invasion, showing the true Canadian grit that we know exists. And Lillian Freeman. Because as we honour and we recognise 20 years since 9-11, we also recognise that this year is the 100th anniversary of our poppy in our country. And that poppy had humble beginnings in what is now the Army officers' mess in our nation's capital, the city of Ottawa. Lillian Freeman, a Jewish woman at a time when anti-Semitism was running high, made the first Canadian poppies in her home. That is the proud Canadian legacy that we get to stand up for each and every day in our Ontario Legislature and to my federal colleagues. They get to stand up for that each and every day in the House of Commons. And it's up to all of us to remember the names that I just read out today, but also to the brave young and women who continue to serve our country, whether here at home or abroad. So with that, I thank all of you, particularly the spectators, for coming out in these difficult times, these uncertain times, to pay your respect to our war dead, to our veterans, and to those men and women who continue to serve our great country, lest we forget. Thank you, Missy. Ladies and gentlemen, I now invite Brigadier General Peter Scott, Commander of 4th Canadian Division, to the podium to deliver his remark. J'invite le Brigadier General Peter Scott, Commandant de la 4e Division du Canada, à venir prononcer son allocution. Good morning, Premier Ford, distinguished guests, veterans, serving members, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we honour those who have served Canada, past and present, in times of war, military conflict and peace. Nous vivons dans un pays fort et libre, grâce à ceux qui sont battus pour la paix. For well over a hundred years, Millions of Canadians have proudly served our country in uniform. We owe it to them to remember and honour their sacrifices. We remember the Canadians who valiantly served in the First and Second World War, the Korean War, and in numerous peacekeeping missions around the world. Nous nous souvenons de leur service et de leur sacrifice. Today we recognize the ongoing sacrifices of Canadians who returned from the mission in Afghanistan, many with visible and invisible injuries, and many of whom continue to serve in the Canadian Armed Forces today. Plus de 40 000 Canadiens et Canadiennes en uniforme ont servi lors de la mission en Afghanistan pour défendre la paix et la liberté. During this important mission, 158 Canadian Armed Forces members died, as well as seven Canadian civilians. Countless others continue to suffer today in silence. On this Remembrance Day, we also remember those who served at home on many missions that have provided aid and security to Canadians across the country. Nous sommes fiers d'avoir assisté le gouvernement dans le cadre de ses efforts contre la pandémie. Your Canadian Armed Forces supported the government's efforts to stabilize the COVID-19 situation in long-term care facilities in the Greater Toronto Area. They supported the government's effort to vaccinate remote First Nations communities. They provided military medical assistance to Sunnybrook Hospital. And finally, they have provided fire and flood evacuation support to many First Nations communities across Northern Ontario. 
as we continue to support Canadians at home and as we train for our next mission overseas. We draw strength from the fact that we walk in the footsteps of those who have served our country with distinction throughout its history. On this Remembrance Day, we thank our veterans, young and old, for their selfless sacrifice. We hold hands with those that continue to suffer from the scars of conflict, and we honour the memory of all those brave women and men who made the ultimate sacrifice so that we can live in this amazing country, strong and free. Merci. Thank you. Thank you. Merci, Monsieur. Now, Ontario G Regional Chief Glenn Hare of the Chiefs of Ontario will offer a prayer. Bonjour, Ani. Nagishgat, it's a good day. Kinishamaganishak, all veterans. Nashdeben Dawzajik, all the citizens. And our honorable leaders and colleagues with us today, Chimi Gwech. Debejget, Kimin Gwana, Matsuin, Nadoatsu, and Gibish Rus Chamagome. Chindishkik Mekong, Nishnabegi, Mijigas, and we knock the end up. Shkode, Nebe. We always remember the past, today, and what's going to happen tomorrow. Chimmy Gwech, Kinishamagnes, to all the veterans. Chimmy Gwech, lest we forget. Bonjour. Thank you, Chief. Ladies and gentlemen, Mesdames et Messieurs, as the years since the great wars pass, Many feel that the memory of sacrifice passes with it. Of course, our gathering today proves that the memory of the sacrifice made by our forebear remains in our hearts and mind. Nous ne voulons surtout pas oublier tous les sacrifices qu'on fait nos ancêtres. Today, we are joined by the cadet petty officer first class Jacqueline Chen, 272 of, of Jiwa, Royal Canadian Sea Cadet Corps, and Master Warrant Officer Audrey Chen, 709 Toronto Signals, Royal Canadian Army Cadet Corps, to recall the experience of Canadian soldier John McRae. Aujourd'hui, les cadets Jacqueline Chen et Audrey Chen se joignent à nous pour rappeler l'expérience du soldat canadien John McRae. In Flanders fields, the poppies blow, between the crosses, row on row, that mark our place within the sky, the lark still bravely singing fly. Scarce heard amid the guns below, we are the dead, short days ago, we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you, from failing hands, we throw. The torch be yours to hold it high, if ye break faith with us who die. We shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders fields. Sur les rouges coquelicots du cimetière flamand, qui parmi les rangées de croix, bouge en avant, nous sommes entiers. Et dans le bleu des cieux, les alouettes en cœur lancent leur cri courageux que plus personne n'entend sur le bleu des canons. Nous sommes morts. Il y a à peine quelques jours, nous connaissons la joie de la vie, de l'amour, la fraîcheur de l'heure et l'horreur du bonheur. Maintenant, nos corps sans vie et reposons au flamand. Nos mains inanimées vous sentent le flambeau. C'est à vous, à présent, de le tenir bien haut, de prendre l'ennemi et reprendre la querelle si vous ne partagez la mort, la frère rebelle. 
nos corps ne pourront pas rester passiblement sous les rouges coquelicots du cimetière flamand. And now I, I invite your colonel Michel Zion, chaplain for Canadian Division, to offer a prayer. Et maintenant, j'invite l'aumônier lieutenant colonel Michel Zion à dire une prière. In the respect of beliefs and individual conscience, I invite you to take a moment for personal reflection. Dans le respect des croyances individuelles et de la conscience de chacun et chacune, je vous invite à prendre un moment de recueillement. Today, in the presence of our veterans, we remember those who fought with honor and courage so that we can live today in a country where the values of freedom Pride and courage resonate with power. Notre histoire, pour reprendre notre hymne national, est une épopée de brillants exploits qui force notre admiration et qui nous pousse aujourd'hui à nous dépasser et à être meilleurs. We are gathered today, hearts filled with gratitude and pride. For all those who have served Canada in every time and place, those who made the ultimate sacrifice, as well as those who still carry the wounds of service in body and soul. Jamais nous ne fuirons le devoir de se souvenir, car il est le lieu où nous puisons force et résilience. Nous sommes fiers de faire partie de cette histoire et d'avoir mené le combat sous le drapeau canadien. We pray for leaders at every level, and in particular, in a particular way for Her Majesty the Queen, the Governor General, the Prime Minister, and the Acting Chief of Defense Staff. Prepare us to face anything that opposes us, imposes inclusion or wholeness, whether in our own hearts or the actions of others, so that we might be strengthened in our shared values in service to Canada. La guerre déchire. Elle prend ce qui est entier et le démembre. Se souvenir, c'est réunir à nouveau ce qui était autrefois déchiré. Il est notre devoir solennel de se rappeler en tant que bénéficiaire de cette paix apportée par le service et le sacrifice de nos ancêtres. C'est ainsi que nous honorons leur héritage et participons à leur noble travail. The global pandemic continues to challenge us. Each of us has gained a new appreciation for community, for those whom we hold dear, those whom we have not been able to see in person, yet we know there is still more to do. Each of us is called to look out for each other, to foster and encourage the common good that binds us together. May today's commemoration inspire us to work together for a better future. Amen. Merci. Thank you. The memory of sacrifice is also preserved by the youth of our nation, and it's demonstrated by the commitment to remember, which will be read by Cadet Warrant Officer Jane Yang, 142 Mirico Royal Canadian Air Cadet Squadron, and Master Warrant Officer Audrey Chen. La mémoire du sacrifice est également préservée par la jeunesse de notre nation. Et démontré par la promesse de ce souvenir, qui sera lu par les cadets Jane Yang et Audrey Cheng. They were young as we are young. They served, giving freely of themselves. To them, 
we pledge amid the winds of time to carry their torch and never forget. We will remember them. Ils étaient jeunes, jeunes comme nous. Ils ont servi, donné généreusement d'eux-mêmes. Nous leur promettons, en dépit du temps qui passe, de porter la flambeau et de jamais les oublier. Nous nous souviendrons d'eux. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now commence the laying of wreath. Mesdames et messieurs, nous allons maintenant commencer le dépôt des couronnes. On behalf of the people of Ontario, au nom de la population de l'Ontario, the Honorable Doug Ford, Premier of Ontario, Premier Minister of Ontario. On behalf of the Legislative Assembly of Ontario, au nom de l'Assemblée législative de l'Ontario, the Honorable Ted Arnott, Speaker of the Legislative Assembly, President de l'Assemblée législative. The Honorable Lisa McLeod, Minister of Heritage, Sport, Culture and Tourism Industry. The Honorable Lisa McLeod, Minister des Industries, du Patrimoine, du Sport, du Tourisme et de la Culture. On behalf of the Government of Canada, au nom du gouvernement du Canada, the Honorable Christia Freeland, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance of Canada, Première Ministre et la Ministre des Finances du Canada. And the Honorable Carolyn Bennett, Minister of Health and Addiction and Associate Minister of Health of Canada, Ministre de la Santé Mentale et des Dépendances et Ministre Associée de la Santé. On behalf of the Canadian Armed Forces, au nom des Forces Armées Canadiennes, Brigadier General Peter Scott. On behalf of First Nation and First Nations veteran, Ontario Regional Chief Glenn Hare.
on behalf of the government of the United States of America, au gouvernement des États-Unis, Susan Crystal, Consul General of the United States at Toronto, la Consul Générale des États-Unis à Toronto. Ms. Maureen Besnicki, founder of the Canadian National Day of Service Foundation and co-founder of the Canadian Coalition Against Terror. Master Corporal Retired Jody Mitik, Veteran of the War in Afghanistan. Caporal Chef Jody Mitik, Ancien Combatant de la Guerre en Afghanistan. On behalf of the Ontario Public Service, et au nom de la fonction publique de l'Ontario, Michel Diemanuel, Secretary of the Cabinet and Head of Ontario Public Service. On behalf of the veteran of all war, au nom des anciens combattants, Master Warrant Officer Retired Gary Pong, Pres President Royal Canadian Legion, Ontario Command. L'adjudant maître retraité, Gary Pong, President de la Légion Royale Canadienne de l'Ontario. Every year, a number of veterans and community organizations, as well as many members of the Council of Corps in Toronto, bring reef to Queen's Park in order to take part in this ceremony. Chaque année, les anciens combattants de diverses organisations communautaires et de nombreux membres du corps consulaire de Toronto apportent des couronnes à Queen's Park afin de participer à cette cérémonie. This year, those organizations sent their reef in advance, and we have placed them along 
the Veterans Memorial so that in some sense they could be with us today. Their names are on the screen, but you can also go to Ontario.ca website to see the full list. Cette année, ces organisations ont envoyé leur couronne à l'avance et nous les avons placées le long du monument. Leurs noms sont affichés à l'écran, mais vous pouvez également les retrouver sur le site ontario.ca. Ladies and gentlemen, and gentlemen, this is one last component of our ceremony today. Please turn your attention to the eastern sky where momentarily we will see the newest Hercules model, the CC-130J, flown by 436 Transport Squadron at 8-wing CFB Trenton. This tactical airlifter is used in a diverse range of missions such as troop transport ta tactical airlift and aircrew training. It has the ca capacity to land on unpaved airstrip and parachute equipment, supplies, and personnel into adverse environment. It can transport up to 92 fully equipped paratroopers or 128 paratroopers, uh, passengers. 436 Squadron has taken part in every major Canadian Armed Force airlift operation over the last 60 years, including peacekeeping mission and in Afghanistan, and continues to serve in the Middle East as part of Operation Impact. 436 Squadron distinguished itself as a transport squadron in Burma during the Second World War. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our program today. For those who can, please stand for the Royal Anthem. We ask that you please remain standing for the general salute that will follow the anthem, as well as for the departure of a platform party. Mesdames et Messieurs, si vous êtes en mesure de le faire, veuillez vous lever pour l'hymne national, l'hymne royal, veuillez rester debout pour le salut général qui suivra l'hymne et pour le départ des dignitaires.